Hi, I'm Anna Maria de Freitas. I'm the owner of the Harrison House Suites, the Tucker House Inn, and Coho Restaurant in Friday Harbor, San Juan Island, Washington State. Today, I'm going to show you how to make an eggnog French toast recipe. This is kind of a holiday-inspired um, breakfast. I've, I'm using some challah bread. You could use a Portuguese sweet bread. You could use a French brioche. Any kind of rich, dense egg bread would be really delicious for this. I'm also using a homemade eggnog. During the holidays, your local dairy probably has some fabulous uh, eggnog that you can use, or you can make your own. We infused ours with just a hint of bourbon, and then we're going to grate some fresh whole nutmeg on top to finish off the dish. To tie into that holiday spirit, I have a cranberry orange chutney, a little fresh relish uh, that I've made with some blood oranges and regular oranges. And then I have some juniper berries that I've used to infuse the syrup. So I took my maple syrup, put some juniper berries in the syrup, and just let it steep on the stove, you know, for five or 10 minutes. I strained it, and then I have this wonderful maple syrup that has this infusion of juniper berries, kind of a spruce outdoor flavor. So again, hopefully this whole dish will come together and you can see that it has the holiday spirit in it. So here's the eggnog. We have a little bourbon in it. But if you chose to make it non-alcoholic, uh, you can use a little vanilla. You can also add other uh, infusions. If you wanted to use a Grand Marnier, a triple sec, you know, any other liqueur would be really quite nice to flavor this. So I have my challah bread. I've let the bread sit out for about a day, just so it becomes a little hard, a little stale, um, so that it would actually just soak in all the eggnog. So I'm gonna just pat it down here, put both pieces in. We'll flip it over, and we'll let that sit for just a few minutes. And if you want to meet me over at the stove, we'll finish this off. We'll come back and plate, and we'll finish off our eggnog French toast. OK, so I have my pan that I've heated. I'm heating up. I've coated it with a little nonstick cooking spray. I'm going to add a little bit of butter. And my French toast has been soaking in the eggnog. And I'm going to give it one more turn before I put it in the pan. And give it a few minutes, and then if you want to peek and check to see how it's doing, definitely want to make sure we get some nice golden brown color there. And then I also have a little bit of bacon that I'm just finishing off. Take a quick peek here. Yeah, not yet. So the sugar that's in the eggnog and a little bit of the bourbon, that should begin to caramelize shortly. There we go. Looks so beautiful. I like to cut my bread on the thick side, particularly for this, because uh, the hollow bread doesn't have quite the density as a Portuguese sweet bread or a brioche, so you don't want it to fall apart. My bacon looks like it's pretty much done. Perfect. Okay, so I'll meet you over at the plating station and we'll finish off this lovely French toast. Okay, so we have these beautifully caramelized French toast pieces and some bacon. And let's put this dish together because this looks really terrific.
is a little maple syrup that's been infused with the, the juniper berries. Let's put this over here. Let's just tuck these over just to scooch. Let's get the maple syrup in there. And I'm going to finish this off with a little fresh grated nutmeg. This is the whole nutmeg. And it's totally aromatic compared to the ground that you can buy in the store. So we'll give that a little sprinkle there. Then I have a little eggnog that we're going to serve on the side. And we'll give that a little infusion as well. And there you have it. Bon appetito. I hope you enjoy your eggnog French toast.